Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite quarterback hater, Robert Mathis, and you're listening to the For the Culture Podcast. This is the For the Culture Podcast. I'm your host, Luke Diamond. Not the podcast I want to be doing, not the podcast anybody wants to be doing or wants to talk about, but I think that it would be in our best interest to use our platform just to get the message out to anybody out there listening obviously everybody knows but i believe you know in the power of prayer and i don't want to push religion down anybody's throat but with what unfortunately came out today i think that just putting the message out there and putting our thoughts and prayers out there for rigoberto sanchez is the appropriate thing to do i am turning off the monetization for this podcast not that we make a lot of money on these but even 10 bucks 20 bucks i don't want to make any money off this I don't care about the views. I just want to publicly put my prayers and thoughts out there for Rigoberto Sanchez, who was unfortunately diagnosed with a cancerous tumor. Extremely sad news, but I also think, you know, optimistically that he will get through this. I think he is going to take it on. I think that he has tremendous support from his teammates, from his coaches, from the trainers, from Jim Ursay. And you know he's going to be in good hands. They're going to get him the best doctors. And I believe he will get through this. But it puts everything in perspective. You lose a game yesterday and we're so worked up about the game. And we're so worked up about LaRaven Clark and how bad Clark is. Or some weeks it's the officiating. Some weeks it's yesterday was Rock Yassin. And we get worked up over the littlest things. And we care so much about a game. A game of football. And then you see something like this and your priorities get straightened out and you're like wow this is so much more important than a game of football this is so much more important this is life this is life this is you know a young guy Rigoberto who now gets diagnosed with this awful disease Jason and I just went through this as fans with our baseball team over the summer Baltimore Oriole fans Trey Mancini diagnosed with colon cancer right before the season he goes through the treatments and now he's cancer free and they expect him back for spring training. So God bless Trey Mancini and getting through it. And I believe Rigoberto is going to get through it as well. This guy is one of the best punters in the National Football League. One of the most underrated punters. Probably because he plays on Indy. Smaller market team. Only one primetime game this year. A couple 425 games of the week. But only one nationally televised primetime game at night. Thursday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Only the one Thursday night game this year. So The world, I don't think, appreciates. The football world doesn't appreciate what a great punter Rigoberto Sanchez has become over the last four seasons. We sure as hell know as Colt fans. He went, I think, from week two of 2019 all the way up to about week five or six of this season without a touchback. He pins everybody inside the 10. He pins everybody inside the 5. And I believe Rigoberto is going to pin cancer inside the 5-yard line. Diagnosed this morning with a cancerous tumor. Our hearts, our prayers, our thoughts go out to Rigoberto Sanchez. I know he's going to get through this. I know he has great support and prayers pouring in from his teammates, his coaches, and all of the great Indianapolis Colt fans, both in the state of Indiana across the country, and around the world. Our thoughts and prayers. And I'm sure the football community, when you find out a guy on another team has cancer, you're always going to think about them. You're always going to pray for them. You're always going to hope that they recover. They make a full recovery. I don't care if it's the Patriots, the Titans, the Texans. You never want to see any human being go through this. Because, again, with the priorities, football is football, but then life is life. And you never want to see anybody, especially a young guy who does it the right way, a really good person, like Rigoberto, you never want to see anybody go through this. He's going to take it on. He's going to get through it. I'm 100% confident in that. And all we could do is be there for him and give him our thoughts and prayers. We'll see what the Colts do with the punter position. Maybe you give a call to Pat McAfee. It's five games. Hey, Pat, are you in shape? Five games, come in, bring us to the playoffs. Ryan Grigson's gone, so you don't have to come in and play for Grigson. It's a new regime. He loves Ballard. So we'll see what happens. Maybe you go out and you sign a punter. But Rigoberto, one of the best punters in the National Football League, doesn't get the credit he deserves. But I thought he was on his way to a Pro Bowl, possibly an all-pro season. He was that good for the Colts in 2020. And just another terrible thing to happen in this calendar year. I know the switch doesn't 
really change anything as we now approach the month of December tomorrow, the final month of this god-awful year that is 2020. I know when the calendar turns to January 1st, 2021, nothing really changes. It's just a digit on the calendar. But I think for the morale of people, for the psyche, I think that it's going to be uplifting to get this awful year out of the way. And just mentally, I think it's going to be a fresh start. And every year people are like, oh, I hate this year. I can't wait for the calendar to turn. And usually I'm like, well, you're still you. Your life is still your life. But this year I do think is a little bit different. I think there's so much bad karma right now with 2020. I can't wait to put this year in the rearview mirror and move on to 2021 and just forget about 2020. But he's got a fight ahead of him. He's got a battle ahead of him. We're all going to be here for Rigoberto. Our prayers go out to Rigoberto. And I know he's going to pin cancer inside the five because that's what Rigoberto Sanchez does best. God bless. Godspeed to Rigoberto and his family and his teammates and all his loved ones. I'm sure he's going to get through this. I know he's going to get through this and we'll be back on Thursday to preview Colts Texans. We'll get back into the football. We'll get back into the swing of things right here on the Fourth Culture Podcast. <laughs>